This is Preeti Uslain and today again we are going to learn a chapter related to percentage. So you can say this is the second part, second part of percent. Okay, so let's start with the question. If a side of a square is increased by 40%, then find the percent change in the area of square. So what is the area of square? First of all, we need to do, we need to know is area of square is a square okay so what is the percentage which is increased the so side of the square is increased by 40 percent 40 percent we can write in this form so this is 2 by 5 so now it is increased okay so it is increased 2 on 5 so 5 this will be 7 so this is the area of square is a square. So uh, square of 5 is 25, square of 7 is 49. What is the difference? Difference is 24. So it is 24, 24 on 25. So we are, we are asked percent change. So what will be the percent? This will be 4 and 24 into 4 is equal to 96. So percent change percent change will be 96 so this is the answer okay it is as simple as that so what all you need to do is practice practice makes a man perfect as you all know so keep on uh, practicing every day if in case you don't find you don't uh, uh, you are unable to solve any any query you can comment me so that i can resolve your query as soon as possible even if uh, you uh, have many doubts so uh, what you can do is you can uh, email me your questions so that I can make videos on that queries that you have. Okay. So let's uh, solve the second question. Second question is if the length of a rectangle is increased by 42 6 by 7 percent and the breadth of the breadth of rectangle is decreased by 11 1 by 9 then find the percent change in the area of rectangle. So 42 6 by 7 percent is more. when we uh, solve this we will find 3 by 7 and uh, 11 1 by 9 percent when we solve this we will get 1 by 9 okay so uh, length of the rectangle is increased by so it is increasing 3 over 7 so this will be this and it is decreasing 1 over 9 so this will be okay so this will be 63 and this will be 80 so the difference is 17 so it is 17 on 63 but we are uh, we need to find the percent change so we will multiply by 100 so the answer will be 1700 by 63 this will be the answer all the questions that i teach are very very easy okay because uh, uh, sometimes uh, our practice lacks so we don't have to uh, we don't have to be worried worried you all need to do is you have to subscribe with our channel you have to like you have to share you have to comment whatever queries whatever doubts you have so i'm here to solve all the queries of of yours okay so keep watching all the videos thanks so much